organized mom of many. If you're new to my channel, welcome. We're so glad to have you here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and head over to Instagram and follow us over there at christy.organizedmom. So today is a really exciting day because I am going to be sharing with you guys our 2017-2018 second grade homeschool curriculum choices. Um, this is going to be for my son and there are a couple of things that we're still a little bit iffy on but I'm going to share with you guys um, everything that we have sort of decided on and some that we are still up in the air about. I will share with all of all of them with you. So first we're going to start out with handwriting. So I went with a reason for handwriting for Mason. Um, this is a scripture verse um, based program. So I'm really excited to get him into this handwriting program. Um, we did not do a handwriting specific program last year and I felt like that was something that we needed to work on this year. And after I really looked through the curriculum, I really enjoyed what I saw. Um, I also liked how each lesson um, ends with a Bible verse. And I really feel like that really reinforces the values that we're want, wanting to um, help instill in our children. So toward the end of the year, he will be starting cursive. And that starts about halfway through. Um, this is the Transitions Workbook. And so far, we've only done a few lessons, but he's doing really well with it. So we're going to use that for handwriting. And then we did include a spelling curriculum this year. I went back and forth with the spelling curriculum. Um, I wanted to try and I actually did purchase the A Reason for Spelling curriculum, but I ended up pulling back from that and going with the spelling workout. Um, after reading some reviews online and also watching some YouTube videos, I really, really thought this would be a better fit for him in particular. Um, I love the way that this curriculum breaks down each lesson. You do one lesson a week and you have very, very small sections that you do each day. So he'll be writing his spelling words in his spelling notebook every single day and also doing a little spelling activity. And this is maybe 15 to 20 minutes tops to get spelling in. And I feel like that is something that we could fit into our day. So spelling workout, I'm going to be using with him for spelling. For math, we have done Horizons math um, since he began. So we started, I believe, when he was four, um, and he is now doing the second grade Horizons math. So he's going to be working through this book. And I just love Horizons. I feel like it really, it's a really nice, colorful program. The workbooks are um, they, I'm trying to think of what the word is, but it's a, like a spiral program. So they're always reiterating and reinforcing the concepts that they have already learned. So I feel like that's really, really good for him. Um, the more that he does practice the concepts, the better that he understands them. And math has turned out to be, um, one of the subjects that he's really, really good and enjoys. Um, so he um, is going to be continuing with the Horizons math. I don't feel any need to switch that up this year. Um, for grammar, I am introducing a grammar curriculum this year. We have decided on the first language lessons. So he's going to be going through level two first language lessons for the well-trained mind. And I really, after looking through this program, I really liked the fact that this is a one-on-one -on -one program. So you sit down with your child, you verbally go through the grammar lesson, you, um, it's kind of a um, teach me, tell me kind of thing. So you're teaching a concept, they're kind of telling you, um, you know, what they're getting from it. And you're asking very direct questions to them. And then at the end, there is usually a little activity of some sort to reiterate the concept that you have learned in that lesson. Um, we did our very first grammar lesson yesterday. It went really well. It was a new subject for him, so it took a little bit of getting used to, but I think it's going to be a great fit for our homeschool. So we're going to be using first language lessons for grammar. For writing, we're also going to do a writing curriculum. Um, this writing book is called Writing with Ease. This is the workbook level two. 
um, also by Susan Wise Bauer. And um, I really liked the fact that this was the same type of method used in the first language lessons, but then you, um, so you're you're one on one with your student. Um, yesterday we read a story and he narrated that back to me. We learned about summarizing and um, then at, at the end there's some writing pages and he had to summarize the story and then I wrote that down as a very first lesson. So um, I like the fact that it's not super time consuming. It's just this book you read through it, you have some, I've already pulled out all of the writing pages that were in the back and put those in a notebook for him. So they're basically just lined pages that they write on. There's, after each lesson, there is a little activity. And um, I feel like this is also gonna be a simple but really useful curriculum. So we're going with writing with ease for writing. For history, we are gonna do history only twice a week. Um, but I already had the Story of the World book, and I also had the Story of the World CDs, the audio CDs. Um, so I picked up the activity book so that we could really reinforce some of the things that we're learning about. This is the um, book three, uh, Early Modern Times. So we are going to be going through, this is also edited by Susan Wise Bauer. So these are all kind of um, well-trained mind um, recommendations. So we're going to be going through Story of the World. I'm sure you guys have probably heard of the Story of the World curriculum, um, but I am really excited. We have only kind of um, halfway done the curriculum many years ago, and I set it to the side because I felt like um, we just weren't quite ready to add something else to our schedule. This was when we were very new to homeschooling. This year, I definitely want to add this into our day. So we're going to do this twice a week. And he does have a notebook to go along with the history curriculum. Um, okay, for reading, we are going to eventually be doing all about reading. But Mason is still working through the Abeka phonics textbook. This is the teacher guide. Um, reading has been something that we had to sort of back down and slow down with last year. So we um, will be finishing out this book. We are a little more than halfway through it, um, but it's a phonics based curriculum here. And so we're going through this. We're also using the cards that go along with it. So the phonics cards here. And then he's also going to be reinforcing the concepts through Explode the Code. I did pick one of these up just to kind of break up the monotony. This is a subject that he isn't always thrilled to tackle during the day. So we're going to break it up a little bit with Explode the Code. And then we're just going to work through readers. Right now he's finishing up with Little Bear Treasury. And um, I have a ton of early readers here in our home library that we're going to be working through. I just haven't selected specifically which ones we're going to be going through quite yet, but that is what we're going to be doing. Once we're finished with the Abeka curriculum, I will be purchasing the All About Reading set, but I don't have that yet. Okay, for Spanish, we do, he does really want to do a Spanish curriculum. Um, I have not decided exactly how that's going to fit into our week, but I anticipate doing another day or two throughout the week of a um, foreign language program. So I picked up Calico Spanish. This is a homeschool specific program. So this is called Calico Spanish. Um, this is a teacher guide. It comes with a videos uh, on DVD. It has an activity book. It has some readers that come along with it. And then there are some posters to help reinforce um, what you're learning, which are all really colorful and really nice. And then there's also a nice big stack of uh, learning flashcards. So he's excited to start this program, but we have not yet really started it and I have yet to really read through the teacher guide but hopefully I will get to that very soon and we'll be able to add that into our homeschool day as well. So the last but not least <laughs> we are debating on whether or not we well, we've actually decided that we will not be doing 
a homeschool community. Um, we're, we're usually in classical conversations and um, I usually have my kids in the foundations program, the younger ones, and then Jacob in the challenge program. He is my high schooler. He is going to be doing challenge one. He is starting the ninth grade, so he's going to continue to be in that program. But this year we have decided to keep this, the younger children at home. So I'm still up in the air about whether or not we're actually going to continue with the curriculum that I already have. Um, or if I'm going to take a little bit of a detour and do a little something different. Um, if we decide to continue with the Classical Conversations curriculum, um, we will be doing Cycle 3 Memory Work. And I have the flashcards here. So each week they go through a series of memorization of all the major uh, subjects. And they have a little tidbit of information to memorize. So we have that. There's a CD that goes along with that as well to reinforce it. This year, um, in science for classical conversations is the human body as well as the um, elements. So uh, they break it down by week into a different system of the body and you really learn a lot about that. Um, and also in cycle three, it is um, US, so you learn all the states and capitals by memory. You learn all the presidents. Um, you go really in depth with some of that. And this is the geography maps that we use. So we learn all the landmarks, major landmarks and uh, rivers and um, things like that in the United States. So if we decide to go that route, we'll be doing that. And then here are the um, science cards for cycle three that I will be using to reinforce the science concepts if we decide to move forward with the CC curriculum. I will say that I am sort of playing with the idea of doing a little bit more of a Charlotte Mason um, science geography type thing um, with living books and kind of piecing together my own curriculum in that way where we just do a lot of reading, a lot of nature study, um, and just really kind of diving into some of that that I've really been interested in but kind of not been able to do because we've been a part of uh, classical conversations for the past three years. So I'm still working that out and I'm not 100% sure what direction we'll choose, but I'll be sure to let you guys know. So stay tuned. I'm going to share with you their learning notebooks and how I have it all set up and how we're going to work through it for the week. All right, you guys. So I forgot to mention Bible. We're going to be doing a little daily devotion since I am homeschooling a preschooler this year, um, as well as Mason, who's in second grade. We're going to be doing this um, younger um, learners a Bible adventure. And this is just... Bible stories for children and I really like it because it is very scriptural based and it goes through the Bible stories and there's um, a study like one a week so we're going to do this in addition to some other things for Bible we're going to be working on scripture memory um, and we're also going to be reading through the word very simple kind of to the point and um, I'm really liking just keeping a lot of things much more simple this year. So we're going to start with this and the word and scripture memory for Bible. Here is Mason's notebook. You guys, he loves Andy Griffith. So he decided that he wanted that on the front of his homeschool binder this year. And in his homeschool notebook, in, in the beginning, this is his uh, writing line to write. Is, it, is this the writing? No, this is, this is the, um, so these pages are for the handwriting curriculum and at the end they have a Bible verse and then this is the paper that they can write those uh, Bible verses on. So those are in the very beginning of his binder. The next tab is memory work and this is if we do decide to go with the Classical Conversations curriculum with memory work. Um, there's just some coloring pages and things that they can do um, and I have just marked the week down at the top corner. Um, so basically this is the history topics that we're covering and there's a little coloring page for each week. 
And so I just stuck that in here as well as some geography printouts and just um, anything that I come across to reinforce memory work that I want them to do, I'll put behind that tab. The next tab is spelling. So this is where he is writing. At the beginning of the week, they write, they do a practice test just to see where they're at. Then I had him write the words as they're supposed to be spelled. And then each day he will copy down his spelling words in a column here. And then at the end of the week, we have a spelling test. So there's lots of lined paper um, behind the spelling tab for that. The next tab is writing. And this is the narration exercise I was telling you about. So he narrated the story to me. We worked on summarizing and I wrote it down for him. So each week there are sheets for him to do his narration and dictation. All right, the next tab is history. And these are the sheets that came in the back of the Story of the World activity book. Lots of map work, which I'm really excited about coloring pages, um, just different activities that can go along with whatever it is that you're learning. The Protestant Rebellions. This is Mary Queen of Scots. So just something for them um, as, you know, visual cues and visual learners like myself. I like to see things that kind of go around along with the story that we're learning about. So I feel like that's going to be really fun. And then the last section is grammar. And this is just going to be another section with lined paper for any activities at the end of the lesson that he um, needs to write down. So that will just have lined paper. And then there's a little pocket here for anything that needs to be stored. And I love these binders because there is a pocket in the front as well. These are the uh, staples. I believe they're called best binders. I'm not 100% sure, but they are awesome. So that's Mason's homeschool binder. And then I also have a teacher binder where I have some calendars in here. I have um, memory work. This is uh, memory work for the week in one place. Um, so if we decide to do that, I have all of those. I also have more of the writing sheets for the rest of the year already hole punched and in the binder. And anything else that I need to keep in one place, I'm going to keep in my teacher binder here. So I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing what we're doing for second grade this year. Stay tuned for preschool, um, homeschool curriculum for 2017-2018 and how I have changed our homeschool into more of a minimalist homeschool for this year. So stay tuned for those videos. Can't wait to see you guys again and I will see you in the comments section below.